only advice I, I would have would be to not listen to anyone <laughs> and to do what you love and to make things that you love, whatever it is. Make make your favorite things. Be the aud- You be the audience. Make the thing for you the audience. It doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. And if you have to get a job to support yourself so that you can make your art, that's fine. It, you can't make art for someone else. You can't make art with someone else in mind. I don't believe. I don't believe it can be good. So what does success feel like? Are you grateful? Are you proud of the work you've done in the past? Or is there some engine of constant dissatisfaction, like self-criticism of, I could have done better? No, I'm, I'm pleased with the work that we did. Excited to keep working. It's fun. It's. I don't know what else I would do with myself because I like the uh, I like making things. It's fun. I feel like it's my uh, reason to be on the planet, so I just keep doing it. it I'm extremely self-critical, so you don't have that self-criticism, harsh, like, this could have been better, this... Um... If it could have been better, I would keep working on it. It's like, it's, if it's not, if it could be better, it's not done. Well, it's the best it can be. I've done everything I can to make it the best it can be. And that's, I can't do more than that. So there's nothing to be critical of. I did my very, if you always do, if you always give all of yourself and do your best, which you're capable of doing, you're not, I'm not suggesting that you're capable of doing more than you can do. But whatever it is that you can do, if you've given all of yourself to it, you've done your best, where is it, where could there be regret? It seems like music has the ability to bring us so much depth in our soul that's hard to access any other way and without it there would be a, a loss beyond beyond the pleasure of it. it feels like it's a window into something else something that no other medium can express quite the same way i would say not as automatically something about music can, can do it automatically maybe poetry or maybe certain abstract uh, forms can get us there but there's something about music that really can get us there quickly. It starts with this, again, coming in blank, like um, not having any preconceived ideas, being open and really listening. Listening and not thinking about what you're gonna say next or what your opinion is. Basically being a recorder and just hearing what comes in. And then once you hear what comes in, processing that information and um, trying our best to do that without any of the beliefs that we might have to impact what that is. Uh, you know, I, if, I, if I ask you a question, I don't want to hear what, I don't want to listen to you and have any reaction happening when you're speaking. I want to be as neutral as possible. For me, my goal is, is not to form an opinion, it's to understand. So if anything, I would draw you out further and just ask questions to really understand or if you say something that I that somehow uh, triggers me in a way that I wouldn't challenge you I would ask like uh, how did you find that you know how did you get to that place from a place of curiosity you know try to figure out yeah I want to understand who the person is and through questioning we can usually get there or through just spending time together you, you find out who the person is one of the main jobs, my jobs as a record producer, is to keep the voices away from the artist, from all of the people who are really on their side but don't know. You know, like the, the uh, whether it be people, um, and anyone on the business side who doesn't make things, they're excited to do their part. You know, they're excited if when you deliver the thing, the, the art that you make to me, then we can start the project. But there's nothing to sell if the art doesn't happen in the right way and it has to be protected and it can't happen on the same kind of a timetable that business can it's just a different thing it doesn't art doesn't come in a quarterly way the other side of it is in success there can be a lack of reality where all of the people around the successful person just tell them everything they do is great and then they they don't have anything to bump up against anymore or have a realistic sense of what's what how things work or how how it how the how things measure you know so both sides are really important both both avoiding the voices getting in the way 
and having a trusted group of, you know, a sangha, a, a group of people who can say, you know, I don't know if that's as good. And you can still, you know, say, I don't care what you think, that's fine. But it helps to hear it. You know, it helps to have, if someone who you respect tells you something isn't good enough, it's helpful. When you know it comes from a place of love, when it comes from a place of wisdom. 100%, and not from a place of fear, not from a place of, oh, this doesn't sound like it's going to do as well as your last thing. That's that's not the point. The point is, on this uh, quest for greatness, are you living up to your ability?